In this video, I'm going to talk to you about how to find profitable keyword, selling keyword for your eBay listing. So basically what it means, you know, when you do your keyword research, how how do you grill down finding the real keyword that sells and hopefully i'm going to show you how you can grill down the keywords if an item you're selling so how to do a research how to go about supposing we are selling a blender now blender is a very broad word so Suppose we are selling a hand blender, for example. How do we grill down how many people are selling it and how we can get our listing on top of the eBay ranking? This is how to go about finding a, <clears throat> excuse me, a really nice keywords to sell your handheld blender. So what we do when we search the word blender, will instantly get a selection of word given to us already blender beauty blender blender smoothie maker handheld blender so we are interested in handheld blender right okay so if we press for example handheld blender okay and we get something like 6596 result of handheld blender right so how do we break that down this figure down so we can literally get our listing on page what whatever one so the best way to do is practice some sort of wording, type in some words, see what happens. So if we put handheld blender stick, because blender handheld blender is a, is a stick, so put stick and see what happens now. So we put handheld blender stick. Okay, now it gives at the bottom it gives us hand stick blender. Now we're not gonna go with hand stick blender, we're gonna go with handheld stick, blender stick, see what happens. Here we go. From the six thousand something, look look at the result, is chopped to seven hundred and twenty-five results. Now if you look back, you see the items, seven hundred and twenty-five items. Now the next thing to do, right, now we know it's electrical, electrics, you need electricity to operate the blender, so it's electric blender, right? So we'll use the word electrics, so I just type the word electric in there and see what happens now, so we're going to do a little search. Right, here we go. It's grilled down to only 96 listing using the same word I've typed in there. Handheld, hand blender sticks electric. Only 96 listing. Right. The next thing we can think about is the name of the company you're selling. The maker. It could be Philips, it could be Braun, it could be, you know, General Electric, whatever, the maker of your blender. So, for example, if we say the one we're selling is Murphy Richard. Murphy Richard, for example, because we're in the UK. Okay, so if we put search now. Voila, ladies and gentlemen, look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Now, 
we have nobody, absolutely no result found for that keyword. Okay, so what does that suggest to you? It suggests you have no competition if you use this word. Hand, hand blender stick electric Murphy Richard. So you have no competition at all. Now you can use that keyword to put your listing and your listing will be top of page one for that keyword. Handheld blender stick electric Murphy Richard. Now just to show you these are these listing have similar word that's why they popped up All right these one has a similar see here electric stick food processor All right electric mixer there we go blending so these are using similar word that's why they popped up but in fact, you have no competition using that keyword. Right, now we want to find out how many items sold. And then drill down to a few more profitable keywords, right? So if you go to sold listings, right? And then we find, we look for what type of keyword they use to sell their product. First of all, we found our keyword. Now we need to add what keyword actually sold that item. So, as you can see, I'm looking at the word food here. First listing food. Second listing blending. Third listing food. We have the stick. Now something interesting, chopper. Right, next one. Um, it gives you the model number. Keep looking down. Now we've got a lot of catering, so handheld yeah so these are the keywords the actually items sold so what we can do is we can go up and we can literally use of the keyword we saw in the sole listing which is food chopper and handheld right so these were the keyword we saw in the sole listings people used so If we use those keywords in our listing, chances of your item will be sold. And here we are. So if even if we do a little search, and we still have no result because nobody is using that keyword. So this is how you grill down and find a profitable keyword for your item you're selling on eBay. I hope this video has helped you out a bit. Please, if you like it, please click like, subscribe and comment. Any comment you have, I would like to hear from you. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video and all of my other video. And I hope these little videos are helping you out. Thank you so much indeed.